Hello everybody, b Metal is here, welcome to another weekly heavy metal album review. This week we are reviewing Audrey Horn, Devil's Bell, released by Napalm Records on April 22nd, 2022. Now, Audrey Horn are a hard rock band from Norway. The band took its name from Sherling Fenn's character in the cult TV series Twin Peaks, which, by the way, I highly recommend. Although some of the band members play or have previously played in black metal bands such as Enslaved the Gorgoroth, Audrey Horn's music is far removed from the black metal genre and can be described more as a, as a heavy metal, melodic heavy metal or hard rock or classic heavy metal, something on those lines. So similar to bands like Van Halen, Deep Purple, Thin Lizzy, Iron Maiden and Alice in Chains because they do have this modern flavor to their sound as well. So it doesn't sound like a retro band. So let's talk about Devil's Bell. This is the seventh studio album following 2018's Blackout. It features nine songs in 45 minutes. Although there's no intro track, album opener Ashes to Ashes kicks off with a minute and a half build up before getting into this full-blown hard rock amazing song. You know, I ask myself, this sounds like Ghost? Eh, you know, do they get like a later influence from Ghost? Maybe. But regardless of what you think the influence is, this is one of the best songs on the album. It's very catchy and has even a proggy edge to it. It's a very cool song. The title track was the first single out of this album and is as we come to expect from those guys. Now this track is really it's a good title track because it exemplifies the album sound with the twin guitars, the catchy melodies and this very solid rhythmic section. Dance Macabre is an homage to Deep Purple's Stormbringer, the song. This is a song with a very cool intro based on Stormbringer, I believe, or definitely influence. And there's some very nice catch melodies in this song. And this is an example of how good the rhythmic section is in this band. Uh, so the bass and the drums in this song are really sounding very nice and tight. More than ever, the band in this album sounds like early Iron Maiden. So from the, from the title, uh, self-titled album and Killers, this being covered by Alice in Chains. So it's an interesting mix. And Return to the Great Valley, for example, is the best Iron Maiden instrumental song that was not written by the British icons. It's not only in this song, but actually all over the album, the twin guitars and the guitar work are great to hear. In addition to many twin guitar moments, the riffs, while simple, are dynamic and there's a lot of changes, ideas and variations building on each other. So, very cool guitar work overall. Toxic Twins, for example, is a groovy, high-tempo song with a guitar solo section, which is the best part of the song to me. It reminds me a lot of Master of Puppets, especially the bridge of the you know that song when they go into the guitar solo in that song but that's through a different lens because also there's a lot of deep purple in that song so it's a very cool mix with just over seven minutes from darkness is the longest song on devil's bell and closes the album with a high energy and nice groove now if i'm being peak here while there are some very nice songs as i already discussed None of them blew me away. Maybe Ashes to Ashes a little bit more than the other ones. But, and then there is even some songs that fell flat to me, uh, such as Animal and Breakout. So I still don't think Audrey Horn were able to replicate the impact that the debut album Young Blood had on me. But with that said, Devil's Bell is still a good and fun hard rock album with callbacks and references to classic hard rock bands from the 70s and 80s. For all of that, I'm giving it 79 out of 100. Good album, worth checking out 
for those of you who are into some old school hard rock through modern lenses. That's it for today. Thanks for being here, for listening, and be mad always.